and welcome to America. Um, just about to uh, put the cab back down. Ta-da! On my uh, Cat 236B skid steer. Um, spent last night and I'm um, gonna finish it up tonight. Um, I was working on changing this button for the auxiliary hydraulics so you can run a skid steer, breaker, an auger, or a grapple bucket. Um, it, it didn't quit working, but there was something not right with it. You had to fiddle with it to get it to work, and it didn't return to neutral. So I wanted to replace just that button. Caterpillar does not sell that button. I tried to look up a bunch of numbers on it um, and hopefully replace just that button. Not the case. Caterpillar only sells you this entire grip handle with this button and this button and this whole thing and the stud um, and this rubber boot. So I got that pulled apart and I'm gonna share with you what I wish I knew before I started. So right off the bat, flip the cab. It's easy to do on these cats. Take the two bolts out that are right here that come out of these studs right here when it's down pop the thing up and then you can get it everything. Um, take these four Torx screws out. I think they're a T25 or a T30. Pull that out. This plastic thing that houses the HVAC thing will go to the side. Pull this rubber grommet up, which I just zip tied back down. This is threaded. Um, when you pull that off, the plug or this assembly, if you buy the one from CAT, plugs in. I'll put the part number for it right here. Um, then the plug's in here. And unplug it, cut the zip tie, plug it back together, and put it back together. So it would have been easy if I had known all that to start with. So hopefully, if you're watching this and you're trying to do the same thing, I just saved you 48 minutes of your life back. I'm going to put the cab down, tighten everything back up, and then go test run it and see how it goes. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I helped you and saved you some time. Until next time, stay American.